dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ this day is going to be a blessed day for you and for me as well because we start this day with the word of god amen jesus our redeemer is not an ordinary person he is above everything because st paul's letter to the colossians chapter 1 verses 15 and 16 says as follows Christ is the visible likeness of the invisible god he is the first born son superior to all created things for through him god created everything in heaven and on earth the seen and the unseen things including spiritual powers lords rulers and authorities god created the whole universe through him and for him so we are sent to this world to live for him and to fulfill his desires let us grow in him and live for him for him only you are listening to the voice of the gospel presented by wisdom ministries July 30th Monday a reading from the holy gospel according to Saint Matthew chapter 13 verses 31 to 35 He put before them another parable The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field It is the smallest of all the seeds but when it has grown it is the greatest of sheep and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches he told them another parable the kingdom of heaven is like yeast that woman took and mixed in with three messes of flour until all of it was leavened jesus told the crowds all these things in parables without a parable he told them nothing this was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet i will open my mouth to speak in parables i will proclaim what has been hidden from the foundation of the world the gospel of the lord my dear relatives in jesus christ when we experience the gospel values like love peace equality justice harmony and prosperity prevalent in our lives it is a clear sign of uh, the presence of the kingdom of god in us jesus throughout his ministry tried to establish such a kingdom both through his words and deeds he also tried to make his disciples understand the true meaning nature and growth of it through various life related examples simple examples in today's gospel jesus he compares the kingdom with the mustard seed and yeast he teaches that the kingdom has small beginnings like that of a small seed which though very tiny in the beginning gradually grows to a large tree and produces abundant fruits and the birds of the air and animals can take rest there similarly though yeast looks like a minor ingredient it gradually premates into the whole loaf our mother teresa began her mystery work with a small amount of money and with few personals to support her today her work is spread all over the world rendering selfless service of love and charity to thousands of poor sick abandoned homeless and hopeless people the works of the missionaries of charity generate new life hope and happiness 
in the lives of the people who were homeless and helpless. We all have similar responsibility in building up a new society based on the kingdom values, justice, peace, love, joy and all. No matter how insignificant and small our work is. Yes, every king was once a helpless baby. Every great structure was once a blueprint. No human being, plant, animal or organization is a small, complete and a perfect product in the beginning. It is only after a long and gradual process that they have take my macro level shapes. Yes, likewise, all our spiritual growth, our continual and gradual process that are finally contributed in a harvest of spiritual maturity. Today, let us ask God to inculcate in us a desire to work for His kingdom, placing all our trust and efforts in His divine providential hand. Amen. Maria, my Maria, my Maria, my Maria, my Maria, my
Mo chima 